Hi, my name is Amalia Rushka. I am the Deputy Director General for Engineering Services for the Department of Human Settlements in the Mapumalanga province, which is one of the nine provinces in South Africa. I am also the CEO, Chief Executive Officer for the Water for All flagship, which is a provincial initiative to deal with water and water challenges in the, in the province on a global level, provincially. Can you talk about what is so special, what's going on in your province? In, in my province, we're the first province to have dedicated capacity um, for water on a provincial level. The function for water and the responsibilities traditionally in South Africa sits on a municipal level as water service authorities and on a national level with water affairs and forest, uh, not water affairs and forestry, now water affairs and uh, water and environmental affairs that's changed recently, that deal with the regulatory functions and the allocations of water. Now as a province, normally we don't have a role with water, but we are responsible for integration and collaboration and cooperation. And we found as a province, there's a big gap in the water field. So the, the, the executive council, the polit political structure of the province, decided to put a specific person and a structure in place just to deal with these matters exclusively and to support the province and our municipalities in the, the, the service on the ground. So we're very proud as a province of that. And, and, and there's a lot of collaborative provincial uh, matters we can address now as a result of this, which is not the case in other provinces at this stage. Since when is this? This started about three years ago. The original uh, idea started in 2006 and then obviously within the structures and then with the way government works it took a year or two to get it off. So in 2007 it was, uh, it was mooted for the first time and it officially started in, in mid-2007 as a flagship. The flagship is now no longer a separate entity on, on its own but has been absorbed into one of the departments, the government departments, which is the Department of Human Settlement by nature of its new mandate, which is integrated human settlements. We are now as a department in the province responsible to also ensure that all matters of water surrounding human settlements are integrated and integrated into the provincial structure. What motivated you to start this initiative? Oh gosh, what motivated me? Um, I've always been an engineer, I'm a civil engineer. Water's always been my passion. Started my young career as a water engineer with water affairs. Uh, originally, I worked for the Department of Local Government. And they, ha initially when this idea was mooted by the Executive Council, it was with that department and they were told, make it happen. You know, start from nothing but build it up. And by nature of me being the only engineer at that stage being employed by that department, I got the job amongst all my other duties of also doing this. And so it just grew and grew and grew and eventually was very fortunate when they did upgrade it and made it the CEO job to be able to, to, to get that. And, and very honored and privileged to, to have been in this position. Basically breaking new ground, doing new things, uh, you know, making something from nothing. And, and that, that is an incredible and privilege to, to do that. Not easy, definitely not easy. It's a new environment, it's a tough environment to be in, but very interesting and challenging and satisfying. When you go to communities and, and you you do projects, you know, to, to go stand in a corner and cry when you see somebody for the first time having water and, and, and just to experience their gratitude. And, and you can think that, that, you know, and you realize that you were instrumental and that you actually played a role in it and, and that you weren't just a bystander, and those are the things that make you work and, and live for us, is to see that, that delivery on, on that level. Okay, thank you for your time and your interesting story. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you have a nice time during this conference. Thank you so much. Okay.